Henry Ossian Flipper, an African-American military pioneer, as well as leader in engineering, business, and scholarship, had important connections to Texas history. He was born into slavery on a plantation near Thomasville, Georgia on March 21st, 1856. Flipper earned a reputation as a smart kid, and after the upheavals of the Civil War and the uncertainty of Reconstruction, received an appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point. As a man of color, Flipper endured a life of isolation, ostracized by his white peers until his graduation in 1877. Commissioned as the only black officer in the 10th Cavalry, he served with this African-American regiment at several frontier forts from 1878 to 1882. Once again, he put his ingenuity to work he solved a drainage problem at Fort Sill, Indian Territory, that curbed a troublesome malaria issue, and his modifications endured for more than a century. Flipper's fortune soon turned sour. While stationed as a post quartermaster and commissary officer at Fort Davis, Texas, he was court-martialed on grounds of embezzlement and conduct unbecoming an officer. Judges acquitted him on the embezzlement charges, but not his unbecoming conduct charge. Flipper was drummed out of the army. The disgraced officer maintained that his commanding officer, Colonel William R. Shafter, and others acted out of racism and that he had suffered an injustice. Now nearing 30 years old and no longer in the army, Flipper reinvented himself. He became a civil and mining engineer working along the U.S. and Mexico border from an office in El Paso and Nogales, Arizona. In his new life, Flipper became a prominent and popular citizen. He served for a brief time as the editor of an Arizona newspaper, had adventures in Mexico searching for lost silver mines, and became a pioneer scholar in Southwest and Mexican history and folklore. His experiences landed him a position as a special agent of the U.S. Department of Justice from 1891 to 1901. By 1921, Flipper's knowledge of the region and his political connections sent him to Washington, D.C. as an assistant to the Secretary of the Interior for two years. When this rule ended, Flipper moved to South America to help develop the oil fields of Venezuela. When the Great Depression started in 1929, Flipper lost his job and his savings. This soldier, scholar, engineer, and adventurer arrived at his brother's house in Atlanta, penniless. He spent the last decade of his life involved in American politics and race relations while constantly fighting for the reversal of his court-martial. Six bills were introduced to clear his name. All failed. On the morning of May 3, 1940, Henry O. Flipper died at age 84. Even so, others continued Flipper's fight to clear his name. In 1976, the Army changed his status to honorable discharge. Two years later, when family moved his body from a cemetery in Atlanta to his hometown of Thomasville, Georgia, he received full military honors. President Clinton pardoned Flipper on February 19, 1999, erasing the stain from his military record. Today, Flipper is celebrated for his service and remarkable achievements. Once shunned by his West Point class, there is now the Henry O. Flipper Award given to a graduating cadet for the qualities of leadership, self-discipline, and perseverance in the face of unusual difficulties. Flipper paved the way for African Americans in many fields, exemplifying grit and perseverance that played out on the West Texas frontier and the streets of El Paso. Want to learn more about heroes like Henry O. Flipper and more Texas history? Click the subscribe button and like us! The Texas Center at Shriner University.